Now that we have the setup for our transportation allocation problem with crackers being shipped from four different plants to six different distribution centers, let's um, bring in Solver to tell us the shipping schedule that will give us the lowest cost. Just to save this, I'm going to make a copy of it by clicking on the name, the right mouse, um, doing a move for copy, move to end, create a copy, I'm just going to double click and call this um, part one because that was the first part of the question was to get the minimum cost uh, shipping schedule. I'm going to leave these numbers in but if you have different numbers uh, just go right ahead and leave those numbers in as well. You'll notice that at the top of uh, Excel I have the data ribbon open and solver is here on the right. There are different ways to get to solver and um, this is Office 2007. It's done under the Office button and Excel options. Something similar under Office 2010. Uh, just look for the Excel options as well. I'm going to assume that you can do that. I'll bring up Solver and show you the three areas that you have to work with. We have to set the target cell to be a maximum or a minimum. And what we want is the cost. So I'm going to click on the cost number and we would like that to be a minimum. So I'm going to click on this one. Next thing, step two, what cells is Solver allowed to change? So I'm going to click in there and I'm going to click on the yellow shipping schedule. Those are the 24 numbers it's going to be allowed to change. And now I have to put in many, many constraints. Let's think about what they are. First of all, when solver is, or sorry, when the plants are done, they cannot produce more than what their capacity is. So we have to make sure that each one of these four production numbers are lower than the four capacities. We also have to make sure that the demands have been met. So what has been shipped, the six shipment quantities, has to be at least as big as what the demand was. So let's set that up. I'll just move this out of the way. And let's do the capacities first. We'll click in the constraint and click on Add. First one, I want what was produced at plan A to be no more than, that's a less than or equal to, click in this input box, its capacity. Let's add the next one. What's being produced at plant B should be no more than, less than or equal to, click in this input box, the capacity. Add another one. Same thing for C, less than or equal to, capacity, add. Same thing for D, less than or equal to, click on the input box, capacity. Move this out of the way. Let's now add in the constraints on demand, add. What's been shipped has to be more than, let's put greater than or equal to, at least as big as, the demand for distribution center one. Add. Do the same thing for two. What we ship there has to be bigger than or equal to the demand. Now for three, bigger than or equal to its demand. Same thing for four, bigger than or equal to its demand. Same thing for add. 5, at least as much as its demand, and add 6, at least as much as its demand. And now let's put in the very last one, the fact that what was produced at plant B has to be at least as big as the minimum that was agreed to. So add one more. What was produced at B has to be at least as big as, greater than or equal to, the minimum agreed to. And that's it, so we'll click on OK. That was quite a few constraints we added in. They're not a very readable form. You'll have to go back through and read those. There is one more I want to add. None of these numbers for shipping crackers can be a negative number and yet negative numbers are smaller and therefore might give us a minimum cost, I'm going to tell Solver, please keep everything positive. 
easiest is to go to the Options button and tell it to assume non-negative. There are some other things we can set here, but all seems to be um, just fine for us. If you want to look at those, see what they mean, go right ahead. I'm just going to click on OK. I'm ready to solve, so I'm going to click on the Solve button. And I'm going to say Keep Solver Solution. Click on OK. That is the minimum cost. It's going to cost us $55.67 million. And this is the schedule. We should have A, ship 10 million cases to Distribution Center 3. That's its entire capacity, by the way. It isn't quite what Distribution Center 3 needs, but the extra 0.4 million will come from Plant D. Notice how we've made the production at Plant B at least as high as the minimum. And so we've met that constraint as well.